quite the journey to get here, obviously, not a short trip. How, how are you feeling physically right now at this point? Yeah, good. Actually, the first, like the shortest trip I've had so far with my Bellator experiences and international fighting experiences, it was direct flight from Sydney to LA. So yeah, easy 13 hours. Um, obviously, you never like sitting there doing nothing for 13 hours. You're kind of like, I want to get up and train or do something physical. But at the same time, uh, yeah, it was it was good on the body, and I, I'm kind of used to it now. At least I'm I'm really learning like what the little tricks of the trade are in the ways of travel to make sure it just shakes out of your body asap. And yeah, I feel good. No question. Last time out getting the first Bellator win, I wonder how important that was for you in your career. I mean, does does it kind of add something to the confidence or whatever to feel like yeah, I didn't just get signed. I won in there. I belong there. Yeah, definitely. I it was something that obviously I wanted to do in my debut but didn't get the chance to and then I feel like that second fight I really showed my maturity I showed a little bit more my skills and I was just a little bit more content in there which made me kind of come through with the win I think that made a lot of difference and um, I proved that I'm definitely deserved to be here and I am a force to be reckoned with in the featherweight division so it was kind of like a double whammy and then in myself it just gave me the integrity that I was like okay cool as much as you believe in yourself um, you, you kind of need to prove it in one way or another that you are a definite, like, skilled athlete in this sport. So, yeah, I was happy that I came away with the win. What's the focus been like since? Because essentially, I mean, you're still relatively new in your career, but this division is also still kind of developing. So it's like you can move to the top really fast. So I just wonder kind of mentally, strategically, whatever, what the focus has been like in the time since. Yeah, it's crazy with um, women's MMA in a general sense. Obviously, it's still very um, young in its, in its age. And, and that's kind of cool because obviously you can shoot through, you get to like fight from, uh, I guess, debuts to like seasoned professionals in other sports that have come over to trans transition to MMA. So it's been really cool. Um, but at the same time, I've just been focusing on me, just making sure I never lose track of staying on your own fight game, kind of um, growing as an athlete, figuring out your own skill set, your own style, that kind of thing, and just moving forward in that sense and, and taking that to every opponent that I have and not necessarily concentrating on what they're doing and just keeping on what I'm doing. I mean, it's funny when talking about opponents, when you look at your career, like who you fought already in your career, I could see on the one hand you say, look, I've, I've fought top level, so it's great. On the other hand, your record might not be what it was if you'd have taken a slower path, you know, taken some easier fights. So when you look at where you stand now, are you happy with the journey you've taken or do you wish maybe in hindsight you would have taken a, a different way? I, like there, there's been times that I've regretted taking these fights, but um, now at the, at the point I'm at now, honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. I would, I would keep that maturity. The, the lessons that I learned from all those fights have been massive and they've created the athlete that I am today. Like I know going into getting signed to Bellator, being an Australian, being so isolated, being on a smaller scene, I still know I've fought people who's fought internationally when they've come back to Australia and I've given them a good test. So I know that I've, I'm still valuable in, in the division and I've, I've got the skills and experience behind me that makes me solid in, in my kind of worth and stuff. Nice. What do you think about the matchup here? Kind of a, a mystery. I mean, she's got tape out there from Russia or whatever, but what do you think yeah. overall? Yeah, overall, um, obviously, she has a pretty general game plan, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to know that I'll be going up against a grappler, kind of being known as a, known as a striker and having TKO KO wins and her having sub wins. It's always good to face off against that kind of style, stylistically. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to just... Um, just seeing how it goes, another solid challenge for me, but at the same time, I, I'm still confident in my abilities and I'm still confident that I'll come away with the win. Yeah, so last thing for me, give me an idea what the goals are. I mean, as I said, you're still new, mm -hmm. but the division is still developing now. We know the belt's back in play this summer, so yeah. I mean, what's what's the plan for you? Do you, do you feel like you, you've by the end of the year, can we talk about a title contender or is that too soon? What's, what's the goal? Yeah, I've always kind of said I'll, I'll always fight for the title when I'm deserving of it and when they think it's worthy. But I mean, seeing Olga's fighting for the title, she's someone that I wanted to fight or she wanted to fight me as well. And how the division's going, how we've all kind of fought each other and we're all have similar opponents and past histories. It's good to know that that'll definitely be up in the horizon, whether it's by the end of this year or early next or on my new contract or whatever it is. Um, Julia Bud's obviously someone that I want to fight for sure there's no lie about that so it's I just want to as long as I am deserving of it I'm expecting a couple more wins and then moving towards that title shot and then what happens will happen I, I would really appreciate that so coming off your debut how was your mindset different in this training camp um my debut in May I feel like 
I was prepared for the big lights, but not as prepared as I had thought. I, I kind of got overseas, like got over to San Jose and was like, whoa, this is a lot bigger than what I expected. A lot of a jump up in the way of promotions and professionalism in, in, in the show. So that was a big deal. And then I think um, after that first fight was out of the way, then the Sinead fight really showed that I had got used to it and I'm, I'm where I belong. And so now I'm kind of even more solid in, in my position and more solid in the fact that I deserve to be here and I'm ready for all of this and everything that's coming forward. Thank you. That's okay. Cool.